hello there this is ahobiom and today i'm on my way to prague from berlin in my last video i had explored the city of berlin and today i'm on my way to prague and i'm going by train my train leaves at 7 16 so let us go so the duration of the trip was about four hours 15 minutes from berlin to praha and i had to pay 91 zloty for the train tickets which is an equivalent of 21 euros i also had to show my covid vaccination certificate and of course my train tickets in order to hop on now i have arrived prague and it's time to explore this city Czech Republic is one of the member states of the Schengen area so if you have an active Schengen visa or a student visa to any of the Schengen countries or you have a president's card to in any of the Schengen countries you can come to Czech Republic so that was how I came in with my temporary residence card another thing to note is that the currency here is called the Krona so the Czech Krona so this is different from the Polish Zloty and it is five times so one polish zloty is five check krona yeah i had already booked a hotel but my check-in time was 2 p.m and i got here a bit early so i decided to just take a walk around the city center so one thing i advise is when you're booking hotels it's best to try to get something that is within the city center or maybe two kilometers around also you could use uber or bolt to just move around just so you can get around either you can walk or you can use uber and bolt whatever you prefer so guys now we're going to old town we're headed to the city center i think from Prague after walking around for a few hours I decided to take an uber to my hotel because it was time to check in and it was already raining so this is where I lodged I found this place on bookings.com and this is it so let us go so guys this is the entrance of the hotel alright so this is me and uh, over here we have the beds so normally you're supposed to have for two people so you can separate the bed or whatever but since i'm the only one i'm going to have to lie here alone uh so yeah this is what it looks like from this angle let me quickly take you guys to the toilets and bathroom and uh, that will be all for the tour So this is what it looks like. And I have here to put my, my luggage. So, so far I'm just going to be here for only two days. Two days or two nights. Yeah, two days. Anyway. So, so far so good. I'm just going to try to have a nap, try to lie down a bit, change up. This hotel has a massage place. It has a sauna, it has a swimming pool, and I have access to these things. So, I'm going there. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So, uh, did I say hello, guys, already? I think I did. But if I did not, this is Ahobi Warm. And do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let me try to nap now. So guys, I have um, I went swimming and now I'm dressed and I want to quickly 
go to find dinner to eat. Can I dance for you? stomach butterflies in my chest heartbeat like a bird that's humming trust your words cause you know me best good morning Let's take guys a walk so down today is day two in Prague today I'm going to keep exploring the city so I woke up this morning I had breakfast because the breakfast was really early and I was still sleepy and I didn't feel like filming so yeah I uh, made a mess of my room but so far so good we're going to be going to some places I've been able to search things to do in Prague and um, I found a couple of places. I think I like my hair when it's dropped than when it's packed. So yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so um we're going to be going to a couple of places and yeah, afterwards the hotel has a swimming pool which I went to last night. I don't know I don't remember if I filmed or not. But yeah, the hotel has a swimming pool and also a sauna and a massage and all this came inclusive in my money. I booked this hotel on bookings.com just in case you're interested. I would also insert the name on the screen and all of that stuff. So tonight I'm also going to book a massage because today is going to be my last night here and i'll head back tomorrow to Vratsuav by boss guys i am a car sick motion sickness person like the slightest the slightest motion of a car gets me sick so i couldn't find a train to go back to Vratsuav. i found only i found trains but the trains are like eight hours why i don't know because Vratsuav is just close by so i decided to take like the bus and the bus is like four hours and i'm going to be sick i know it i'm just telling you ahead <laughs> i hate car rides i prefer like i don't fall sick at all with the trains or with the airplanes but you see cars buses and all those ones that move on land mm -mm. it's not like trains also move on land but they move on train tracks but you get what i mean anyway guys i'm talking too much let's jump into today's exploration so guys now we're going to Stohov Monastery and uh, it's over there so let's go so guys it's raining and I didn't come with proper clothes for the rain so this is what I'm doing so guys this is the place two tickets here because one allows me to take photos inside and the other one allows me entry entry is 150 check krona and 54 photos so let's go inside <laughs> So guys, I bought postcards as always and this is what the library looks like you saw. This place is magnificent. Anyways, up next, we're going somewhere else. So let's go in here. So 
Ela vai ser desse ali. Don't know what is at the end, but everybody seems to be going there, and we will see. Anyway, guys, this is the reason why everyone is coming here because you can see some part of the city from this view. Now, there's one important thing that I have not mentioned, and that is the fact that Prague is on a hill. Like it's very hilly, so everywhere you're going, it's as though you're climbing on top of a hill so you're going to be doing a lot of exercising if you decide to come to prague so yeah i just decided to put it out there that prague is a hilly city so guys up next up into the prague castle <sighs> So many things happen on Charles Bridge from people singing to people drawing to different musicians. It's all fun on this bridge. I was dancing. guys so far so good the trip has been great i've been walking around and the city has a lot of hilly places so you would be doing a lot of walking out <laughs> and yeah i'm just enjoying myself and having the time of my life here in praha so i met three other people on my way and we are going to the bra castle together so let us go yeah there are so many of them so many cathedrals <laughs>
there's a queue, but not so much into the castle. So over there we have the queue and to get in we need to go through security checks so that is what we're queuing for because you are not allowed to take any metal or any uh, harmful item into the castle so this is, is the map of the castle and we're about to get inside. to open the hand baggage and leave all these items and you're not allowed to take this is not this was actually not a gun it was a drone <laughs> we thought it was a gun <laughs> what tone is this the remnant of the church of the virgin mary So now in Prague Castle, we have like different things happening here. Like we have different buildings, different cathedrals. Uh, just getting in is free of charge. But if you would like to explore further, you would have to pay. And I had to pay 250 in order to get into 250 krono to get into the castle. us access to four buildings. <laughs> it's so cold inside here. <laughs> Georgie. So, that's a bit of sense. George. If it's love that you need, you can take it from me. Cause I'm the one who's giving it up. Bye. 
The Golden Lane is situated here in Prague Castle and it was originally built in the 16th century and it was to house the castle guards, so the people who walked in the castle at the time. Now, number 22, so house number N22 was where um, Franz Kafka lived. This looks like we're not going to do this. Wow. Mm -hmm. You walk anywhere. Yeah, until the 18th, 18th something. And the second one is the stuff. That's one toilet for the entire... Yeah. What the... Ah. Let's go into one of the living quarters. So this is. <laughs> Let's go to N26. <laughs> so this is where they used to bath or something. Or oh, that's like. Wow. So this is where you walk. You didn't tell us. Oh my goodness. What kind of small bed is this? Up next, we're going to the torture chamber. It still smells. My battery died but I was still able to go around have something to eat and I'm back to my hotel room now I have my spa session in one hour I want to lie down a bit and then I'll go there but guys I hope you've enjoyed this video guys at this point this is me saying if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button comment like share and stay tuned for the next video this is not the end of the video because i'm leaving tomorrow morning but so far so good thank you so guys for watching thank you for sticking with me <laughs> all right guys bye i'm going for drinks to the bar Thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you so much for everything i don't know do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like i'm on my way back to Bratza. so i'm headed for the bus station and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> i just threw my box down because i wanted to do nonsense but yeah bye guys bye